the report confirms what we said. It's really sad it's taken this long for us to get to this point. For three years, John and Julie Cochran of Hampton say they brought concerns to school administrators that their young daughter was being racially bullied, but it did not stop. Now, an independent administrative review finds that racial bullying did occur and that procedures and communication with parents was lacking. It brings validation that um, we called to light something that was affecting our child's safety in a, in a school environment. We know that those events created um, an environment that we don't like, quite frankly. Um, we don't tolerate it, but it did come into our schools. The report was commissioned by the district. It was really important for us to understand the process, um, what happened in terms of our responses, our administrative responses to the to the allegations of um, racial bullying. Among its recommendations, a more racially diverse faculty, expanding sensitivity and diversity training, bullying reporting forms, and working with principals on communication. Meantime, the Cochrans say their daughter is thriving at a new school. We're in a position we want to prevent other children from going through the same situation. As a family, we need to make sure that we see this through in terms of understanding that we need some recourse here. The Cochrans and the district are also awaiting the results of an investigation by the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.